Okay, so I'm starting to do the brackets on the driver's side. And uh, just to get yourself oriented, the calipers hang, uh, this side is the front of the truck. And this is the rear. So the calipers go towards the rear. Um, and this is like the, the mounting bracket that goes on first. And the old bolts that go through the drum backing plate get replaced by these. And also, you have to take off the bump stop some glare there but the bump stop gets in the way of the new bracket the bracket itself acts as the bump stop so they tell you to remove it and leave the bolt in place which you have to do that holds the king pins in okay so there's the there's the main bracket then you've got these spacers there's four of them the directions say you could use typically it takes four sometimes it's three and they also include some of these little spacers, um, just in case there's variations between the years or, or anything like that. Um, for me, the, the four worked. The four was the right amount. So you take your, your bolts, the long ones, put them through, and then you stack these up. You can see they match the bolt pattern. So they go in from this side, like that. Okay. I'm going to put the four of them on and then I'll be back. Okay. I got the spacers on. One, two, three, four. Bolt goes through. And then this is the caliper bracket. This is what actually the uh, caliper hangs off of. So there you go. I'm just going to torque these up. Manual says, uh, or the directions say to torque, torque all of them to 50 pounds. I'm going to do that. Um, next step will be to put the drum brake, uh, the disc brake onto the hub. So I'll be back to show you that. All right. So I got the back of the hub cleaned up. I've got the mounting plate or grease cover or whatever that is cleaned up. And then there is our disc. So, take the disc and just place it over the hub. Now, first time around, I made a little mistake. If you notice, there's two sets of holes, right? They both line up correctly. The ones that are countersunk are a little bit bigger. And I, I was using those, and it allowed the disc to get mounted slightly off center. So when I put it on, I could visibly see it out of round, like going up and down. And I thought there was something really wrong with my bearings, but the hub was uh, not moving out of round. And then I realized there's two sets of holes, and I used the wrong ones. So you want to line up the smaller ones that that way they locate nice and neatly you put your plate on and then you take your hardware and you just start dropping screws in so you use a flat washer on the inside and uh, put the screws through the bolts through and then from the other side, as you can see there, you use a lock washer and a nut and you tighten them to 50 pounds in a star pattern. Like when you're putting your wheels on, you don't want it to go on crooked. All right, so let me do this and I'll be back. Okay, and here it is all back together. Got the disc, got the caliper on. The, uh, it's really simple the way these hold on. It's just, this end of the bolt threads into the bracket. It's not threaded in down here, it floats as brake calipers do to accommodate wear. But yeah, there it is. 
I'd say that was relatively easy. Now I gotta do the master cylinder swap. I got a dual dual chamber master cylinder with a disc drum proportioning valve. And you have to plumb some new lines because the brake lines that come with the calipers are not the same size and thread than what's on the truck. So that'll be fun. Until next time, thank you everybody.